Hi, welcome to Spec Hunter. Apple has just leaked a lot of information about its upcoming products. And one of the biggest surprises is the M5 series MacBooks. These new laptops are not only expected to come with upgraded chips, but also a feature that users have been asking for over a decade, built-in 5G cellular support. This is a massive step forward because it means you could open your MacBook anywhere, whether you are at home, at the park, in an Uber, or traveling on a train, and instantly be connected without worrying about Wi-Fi or relying on a hotspot. In this video, I'm going to explain why I believe these new 5G MacBooks are almost confirmed, how the leaks fit together, and why this feature changes everything. I'll also share the main features and upgrades you should expect with the new models. Once you see how all the pieces connect, you'll understand why Apple is preparing this launch very soon. For a while, I didn't think Apple would release M5 MacBooks at all. The leaks showed no design changes, only chip updates. The current M4 MacBooks are already powerful, and most people don't feel the need for more speed right now. That's why I assumed Apple would skip the M5 generation and wait until the big redesign plan for next year, when OLED MacBooks are expected. Those will bring thinner designs and the best displays Apple has ever made, which would have been a much more exciting update. But then, something changed. A recent Apple leak revealed hidden code mentioning an M5 MacBook Pro along with something called the Centauri chip. At first, this didn't make sense, but it was soon discovered that Centauri is Apple's new C1 modem, a custom 5G chip. This chip has already shown up in the iPhone 16e, and it's rumored to be part of the iPhone 17 Air launching next month. If Apple is ready to use it in iPhones, it makes perfect sense to also bring it to MacBooks. For years, people wondered why MacBooks didn't have cellular support when iPads did. The truth is that Apple was working on its own 5G modem to replace Qualcomm's. This project faced many delays, but it is finally ready. Now that the chip exists, Apple can instantly add it to every new product from iPhones to iPads and now MacBooks. This move helps Apple in two ways. It saves money because they no longer have to buy chips from Qualcomm and it increases profit because Apple will still charge extra for cellular models. This completely changes how I see the M5 MacBooks. At first, I thought they would be boring speed upgrades with no real reason to buy them. But with built-in 5G, the story changes. Apple doesn't need a design refresh to make people interested. They can simply market these laptops as the first MacBooks that are always connected, no matter where you are. I can already imagine the ads. People working from mountain cabins, editing videos and moving cars, or streaming content while sitting in the middle of nowhere. This feature alone gives Apple all the marketing power it needs to make the M5 series feel like a must-have upgrade. There's also another clue that Apple is preparing for this. Back in June, during the Mac OS Tahoe preview, Apple quietly added a new feature called Vehicle Motion Cues. This has been on iPhones for a while. It reduces motion sickness by adding small dots to the screen when the device detects you are in a moving car or bus. Now, the same feature is part of the Mac beta. Why would Apple add this to MacBooks unless they expect people to start using them more often in moving vehicles? The timing is too perfect. It's almost like Apple is preparing the software for the arrival of 5G MacBooks. Now, some people might say that you can just use your iPhone's hotspot and connect your Mac that way. But if you've tried it, you know it's not the same. Tethering is slower. The upload speeds are especially bad, which makes sending large files or uploading videos almost impossible. Plus, it's inconvenient. You have to pull out your phone and turn it on every single time. With built-in 5G, your MacBook would just connect instantly the moment you open it. It would be seamless, just like using Wi-Fi. Think about iPads for a moment. Apple sells cellular versions of iPads, and people buy them even though tethering is an option. That proves the demand is there. 
On top of that, MacBooks usually have better antennas than iPhones, which means even stronger reception. For example, I've seen cases where a MacBook can connect to a weak Y, Fi network that an iPhone can't. So, when Apple adds 5G, it will probably work even better than it does on iPhones. Imagine working remotely in areas with poor coverage and still being able to stay connected. That's a game changer. So now the M5 MacBooks finally make sense. Apple doesn't need flashy design updates. The 5G feature alone gives them something big to market 